let's predict the products of the reaction for Mg, that's magnesium solid, magnesium metal, plus HCl, hydrochloric acid. The first thing we need to do is recognize what type of reaction we have here. When you have a metal by itself, you might start thinking single replacement. Here we have hydrochloric acid and acid, so this is going to be a single replacement reaction. Magnesium, that's going to push the hydrogen out, will end up with H, but hydrogen's always H2, so you won't have H by itself, and that's going to be a gas. So we should see some bubbles in this reaction. Then the magnesium, that'll be with the chlorine, MgCl. But the thing we have to do is make sure the charge is balanced. This is a metal and a nonmetal. It's an ionic compound. We need to make sure the charge balances. So magnesium on the periodic table, that's in group two. Right here, it's going to be two plus. Chlorine, that's over here, that's going to be one minus. And you can see for the charge to add up to zero, we're going to need two of these chloride ions to balance the charge. So that means that the products of the reaction, Mg plus HCl, that gives us MgCl2 plus H2. This isn't balanced. If we wanted to balance it, we have two chlorines here. So let's put a two here. Now we have two times one, two of those, two hydrogens, and magnesium, magnesium. If we put the states in here, chlorides are very soluble. So we're going to put a little AQ after that, show it's aqueous, dissolved in water, and we're done. So that's how you predict the products. See what type of reaction you have here, a single replacement. Then make sure that the ionic compound has its charge balanced, and then balance the equation. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.